I'm going to show you how to make a snare in Serum really quick. Yo, what's up guys, welcome to a new video, my name is Wycrow and well, as you supported a lot the video about making a kick in Serum, I decided to just make one about making a snare in Serum. And well, if you want me to do all the videos about other types of sounds, just put it down below in the comments and I would make more. So when we open Serum, the first thing I'm gonna do is click here and change this to basic shapes, use a sine wave and send this LFO here. Now just click Alt Shift click and this way you have it only on one side. I'm gonna be using a sine wave because it's the most pure sound, the cleanest one and we're gonna use this wave table for the body of the snare and we're gonna control the CRS to make it go from higher pitch to lower pitch but really quick so this way you create like the attack of it. Now we've played this like this so what you're gonna do is first make it go like this and click on envelope so this way it's only one time but as this is way too long just create a knob here maybe control it this way But now as you can hear, if you play it, the sine wave stays there. So what we're gonna do is send an LFO here and put this to zero and increase this thing here. Now we're gonna move this to the left and click on envelope. Now we play it. As you can see, it's shorter. How sure you want it? Well, it depends on you. But I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. But now this is only like the body of the snare, of course now it's really soft, but we're gonna solve this later. But the thing we need now is noise. So let's enable the noise and you can use the noise you prefer, but my advices are to use the ARP white or right white or the SH1 noise. If you play just the noise, as you can see again it's like it stays all the time. So we need to control this again. Let's put this here, again this to the left, just on envelope and put this to a zero. As you can hear, this one is pretty dirty and has good attack. How long you want it? Again, just depends on you. For now, I'm just gonna maybe do it something like this. And as you can hear, it's pretty low in the pitch. And if you move this, but what are we gonna do? Control the pitch because this way you add more movement and it makes it sound more natural. Because when you play a snare in real life, basically you hear the noise and when it's fading out, the pitch is changing. So let's use another LFO and again, do it like this. And if we play with the sine wave, right now this is pretty high, so what you can do is just reduce one octave. But maybe this is too low, so maybe change the semitone. And another thing you can do is open an EQ or an analyzer and check where this is. It's right now on 237, maybe it's too high, so let's reduce it a bit more. And right now, 180, this is a bit better. And as you can see, you also know the note, this is F sharp, but I'm gonna put it on G. So let's increase one semitone. Right now, we're gonna use a filter to clean a bit the noise. And to do this, basically, we're gonna use a high pass, the 18 is good, but only on the noise. Now let's go to the effects and let's start with distortion. And here you can do whatever you want. For example, you can start with a pre-EQ and trying to find the note of the snare and distort it. But what I'm gonna do is use the pre, but do it like this. Because this way we also distort a little bit of the meat of the noise. Of course, this is way too much. Now we're gonna use the compressor, and the compressor you can use it in two ways. You can use the multiband, like OTT. And do something like this, but what I'm gonna do is don't use the multiband. And what I'm gonna try to find is the attack of the snare. So this way we don't compress the attack of the snare, we compress the rest of the sound, and this way we have more attack. So to do this, reduce a lot the threshold and try to find a longer attack. So if you we don't reduce that much, this way we have a bit more attack. And now let's add an EQ and here is where we're gonna add more movement to make the snare sound more natural. So what we're gonna do is use an LFO here and basically with this what we're gonna do is just make it go up and then down. As you can see this way you have a bit more attack on the highs. Also what you can do is also move this here so this way you move a bit the frequency and sounds also more natural. And now for this part of the key, I'm gonna use the second option and basically what I'm gonna do is increase it, make it wider and trying to find a spot where I like. Maybe around here and I'm gonna do the same. So without the cue and with the cue. Sounds way better. The last thing I would do is add some reverb and when you add the reverb you can try to put it before the distortion or after the distortion. Right now first I'm gonna put it later. 
and also I'm gonna control this reverb the same way as always, like this, an envelope, and maybe let's control a little bit this, maybe we have a bit too much height. So basically from this point you have like the sound you want for the snare, you have the fundamental to create the snare. Right now what you need to do is just touch knobs, change things until you have a sound that you prefer. So for example we can go to this LFO and make this shorter. Maybe we can also make this shorter so this way we have a tighter snare. And also what you can do is change the wave table. And a good one apart from the sine wave is a triangle. Or just go here and try different ones, try to experiment. This one is also so good. And yeah, maybe you're thinking that this snare is quite basic or is not that strong. But another thing you can do is after the serum, you know, in the mixer, add a distortion like Camel Crusher and this is gonna work so well. So if we use this Camel Crusher, without, and with. And the last thing I recommend you to do is when you have the sound that you like, export it. Don't have it in Serum because sometimes it can sound a bit different in every note or things like this and you have some problems. So just go here on the corner of Serum and appears this thing. Just click and drag to the playlist and this way you have the snare. So well guys, as you can see, it's pretty easy to make a snare in Serum and from this point you just need to touch knobs, change the wave table, make the noise louder, quieter, longer, shorter. And if you want to know how to make a kick in Serum, I recommend you to go and check this video where I show you how to do it. It's also so simple and you get really, really good results. But also don't forget to leave a like to this video so it's where you support it. Don't forget to subscribe so it's where you don't miss any tutorial and put down below in the comments what kind of sound design videos you want me to do. And with that being said guys, nothing else. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.